Hey everybody, I'm C. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Today's video is going to be a little different and interesting. I'm extremely nervous. So basically, on Facebook a few days ago, my sister-in-law challenged me to do a bridge look. So of course, I accepted the challenge. And for like a week or over a week, I don't remember how many days ago she asked me or challenged me, but as soon as I was like, heck yeah, I'll do it. I've literally been on YouTube just researching and watching so many videos and it doesn't look easy. It doesn't look easy no matter how many videos I watched. What I did notice in the videos was that um, everybody used face paint. Like every video I watched, either they used face paint or they already had this um, special effect thing that you can just glue on your face and then paint it over that. So um, I so I had to do the extra step and I had to look up how to turn eyeshadows into face paint because I don't have face paint. And what I found out was that to make face paint, you can, you can use eyeshadow and basically you mix eyeshadow with a white cut with a white base foundation. So that's what I did. I actually, I mixed three different greens and I got this color. So I did notice in the videos I watched, a lot of the people use like a neon kind of greenish look. I don't have that. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see what we can do. The three shades of green that I used they're from this palette, and I feel bad that I had to scrape it off, but there's so many other colors in it, I was like, screw it. So we're gonna use this palette by Our Heart Revolution, the e.l.f. palette. I just wanna show you guys what I did to my palette. So that green's gone, that green's gone, and that green's gone. I'm nervous. This should be exciting and fun. If you see me looking down, I do have a tablet with me just in case I need to go back to any videos and look at the detail, the mouth, everything they did because I don't know how many videos I watched within a week, but I couldn't memorize any of them. Let's get ready. First, we're gonna start with a face primer from Ruby Kisses. If you do hear a second voice, that would be my wife because this is my first voiceover and I'm really nervous about doing this. I am applying the face primer all over my face. That way my face is protected from all the makeup that I'm going to be applying. Um, now I am using my beauty blender and I just took off the excess eyeshadow off of the knife and uh, when I did first apply it to my face I I really really did like the kind of mint green color but um, as I kept applying it it came out really patchy and it ended up kind of fading the more I applied I really do like the shade of green though like I, I really do like this mint green going on Okay, so I've got my face green. It is a little streaky. I could probably put a could have put more, but I don't think I have enough eyeshadow. I look like the witch from the Wizard of Oz. But let's keep going. I do wish I had also did my neck. <laughs> but I forgot. Or, not that I forgot, I don't think I had enough um, of the eyeshadow on the plate. So I ended up not doing my neck. But um, now I'm just trying to fix up all the patches and the streaks and the areas that um, seem to be fading. 
and I'm also trying to make sure that my lips are nice and green because we know that the Grinch doesn't really have lips so now I'm taking the um, setting powder from elf cosmetics which um, I really do like the setting powder. I, I used the setting powder thinking it would help a little bit. But I th think using it kind of faded it out. Faded the color That's out. Yes. <laughs> so probably a bad idea. But now I'm, I'm making faces like I usually do because Ooh, there's uh. always a mishap. Okay, now I'm taking that dark green and I am going to contour. I'm going to contour. Yeah. And now I never know if I'm contouring correctly. So please, please tell me in the comments if I am doing this right. Because honestly, I never know. I just do my best to go by other people and their tutorials. But I'm not a professional. I'm not a makeup artist. I am literally self-taught. So if I'm doing it wrong, please tell me. Please and thank you. I will admit, I do love my facial expressions. I feel like they just make the video more real. And that's exciting. Now I'm just blend, 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 blending my face, blending, blending in the contour. Blend that contour, baby. I really did love the way the green came out. I just wish I had more. So that way I maybe could have fixed the green up a little bit more. But blend, 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 blend. We are blending. Whee! The Grinch is on his way to be a baddie. That's right. That's right. Because we're becoming a glam Grinch. Not the regular Grinch. We're going to try to go for a glam Grinch. That's right. Now I'm taking that darker green. And what am I going to do with that dark green? I am... Doo -doo -doo. I am going to do my eyebrows. Okay. I am trying to do my eyebrows by the way i keep looking in the other direction because i do have a mirror that was in front of me that nobody can see but there was a mirror so okay i i got my eyebrows down by the way that was my very first time doing anything to my eyebrows so i do wish i did them a little bushier but again, that was my first time doing anything to my eyebrows, period. Pretty good. So I'm kind of proud of yes. my eyebrows. You should be. I like it. And now I'm taking the green again. And Going to turn on your eyebrows? Nope. Now nope. I'm going to do my nose. Now I'm going to do the nose. Ooh. Also, you will see me looking down because I did have my tablet in front of me. And I was watching two different Grinch tutorials that helped me do the smile. I still did the smile terrible. I did it so bad. She's lying. I think but I'm nice. not an artist. I really did try my best. She lying. It looked nice. <laughs> and now I'm doing my nose. And now I'm doing that smile. I feel like I, I definitely did it too wide by accident. But um, I did watch a video that said if you smile, that helps get the Grinch's smile lines. Oh, that's, that's so, good. And honestly, of all the videos I watched, that one YouTuber, they were the only person to mention smiling. Mm -hmm. All the other people I watched, they just did it. They just, they just did on. it. Yeah, nah, they, they you were smiling. Let's, we see that smile there. They just went in with the with the lines, no problem. And uh, I, yeah, see right there, I am watching the um, video. And in the video, I'm listening to the woman say to do the um, line wrinkles. Yeah, the wrinkles. So that's kind of what that was. And as I was doing the line wrinkles, I kept forgetting I'm supposed to be a glam Grinch, <laughs> not the regular Grinch. 
So after those wrinkles I did, that's when I stopped. And I was like, oh, snap. I'm not supposed to be the full Grinch. I'm supposed to be a baddie. <laughs> so then I just right. went on to, to doing my smile again, just trying to fix it. I really, really, really did try my best here. <laughs> like, and the smile is the mouth is really the most important part of the Grinch besides the eyebrows. Yep. I I really tried. I really tried my best. Woo woo. But um, my first time during the Grinch, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't as hard as and it, time consuming yeah. as I thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. Especially for someone like me because I'm not an artist at all. I still think you did good. But now here I'm just trying to fill in the shadows. So I'm shadowing. So so it can look more like a grin. I still look think it looks nice. I like it. And as you can see, my eye I'm looking at the mirror, but I'm also listening to the YouTube <laughs> um video. <laughs> now I'm going down to my mouth and I'm doing his little um whisker holes. Yes. The whisker holes. Thinky 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 thinky. And now I'm going to take that yellow because we're gonna use that so as a the yellow right yes the yellow yeah. shade we use as a highlight to make the smile look a little more natural yeah what I did forget to put I'm not gonna lie as I'm supposed to be a, a glam Grinch I forgot the blush. I, think you I did everything, but I totally forgot the blush. But that's because the tutorials I was watching had nothing to do with being a glam Grinch. <laughs> I was just trying to figure <laughs> out the details for the mouth. So now I have finished my mouth, and I'm going to use this eye primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we're going to glam it up now. Now we're gonna do my eyeshadow. Woohoo! Now we are putting the beauty blender on her eyelids. Oh my goodness, that I do love that eye primer. It's just the way I apply it, it goes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if it's supposed to do that. So now I'm taking that darker green that actually looks black, but it's not black. It's actually just a really, really dark green. Well, I gotta follow me. It looks better now. It's, yeah, it's. I I really do love this palette. It's 72 colors. It is from the Elf collection mm, from iHeart Revolution. Yeah. But all the colors are really lovely and really nice. Now I'm taking that kind of dark golden color, that dark golden shade, or. A different type of green Something shade. Type of green, oh god. It was shimmery, which I did like, and that's why I chose it. Mm. Mm. And then I'm gonna choose a different shimmery. That that one is gold. That one, that shade was real pretty. I like the way it that looks. shade came out really, really, really pretty. I was actually like, despite the green face, if I didn't have the green face just the eye makeup i i really would have been so proud of man that is it's coming out good i think in my opinion oh so there's my look so far and grinch and making and now meow. here i'm going to do false lashes oh. which i'm going to use bl glue eyeliner um this eyeliner i found on amazon it's an eyeliner adhesive for your lashes oh my god y'all it would this makes putting on lashes so easy and so fast like you don't even have to wait for it to um dry like regular lash glue so you pop it on you just Ooh. apply it to your eyes and pop on your lash and bam now i'm having a little bit of a struggle because i don't have an eyelash tool or an eyelash curler so i just had to apply it with my fingers 
and adjust it but look how quick look it how really quick. like it, it was so quick you were struggling. it was so quick i like it and this is my favorite mascara from ColourPop. act natural, natural. Fun fact, my wife got me that mascara for my birthday. So did. And I, out of all the mascaras, that, that's probably my big go-to. Now here, oh my God, I love these lip glosses. These lip glosses, and I am not a lip gloss person. I usually do not wear lip gloss. I do not like it. Lip gloss for me just makes me feel like a, a, a preteen. And when I was a preteen, I hated makeup. <laughs> but for some reason, these iHeart Revolution glosses, beautiful, beautiful shades. Now, hey. And this is my full look. What do you yeah. guys think? So... Here's the finishing look. Why do you think for my first Grinch? There's a lot I could have did differently, I will say that. Um, probably just get a face paint or use one of those liquid eyeshadows. That might have been a lot better and maybe less patchy. Or um, if I had more of the powder eyeshadow, then I could have just used more and just added an extra coat. That might have been a little bit easier. Easier. But. I like it. Very much. <laughs> My partner. Howdy. And happy holidays, everybody. I'm wearing my green sweater for the occasion. Yay. If you would like to see more shenanigans, please follow me on Instagram. And do good deeds. Peace out. To my sister-in-law who challenged me to do the Grinch look on Facebook, I challenge you to do Cindy Lou Who.